Hi everyone, it's James in Japan. I went down to Suma Beach, that's west of Kobe, to check out the scene on August 6th, 2020. Oh, by the way, I'm exiting JR Suma Station. This being a special year due to the coronavirus and everyone being locked down, and it is summer break for students, I wanted to see what the scene was like at this beach, if any. In front of me is a restaurant. It's open, but it looks very quiet. Next to it is a lemonade stand, and it's dead. She looks bored. And right away, you can tell that there are few people on the beach. I haven't been down to Suma Beach in a long time, but I can tell you that Suma Beach in the summer was party central. There were babes everywhere. Suma Beach looks a lot cleaner than before. Right when you leave the station, you have a beautiful view of the sea. On this day, I'm using my GoPro and a handheld camera. There is someone in the water and there is a security guard. I bet there's no swimming allowed. Wait, wait, I can see signs. I decided to head toward the water. Here's another look at JR Suma Station, and I can't believe how barren this area looks. There used to be sheds that sold food and drinks, and this area would be filled with people and babes. Signage, keep social distancing. I don't see anyone swimming. What's there to do at this beach? Sunbathe? It's too hot. There is a security guard sitting under that parasol. I'll go over there and ask him if it's okay to go near the water. Oh, there's free bicycle parking. So no swimming in August, but from September you can swim. <laughs> That's what he said. Wow, the sand is incredibly clean. It's so sparse. So no swimming here. For this one. So if you're watching this video, don't come down to Suma Beach this August. Don't ask me why I'm wearing a black mask on a hot day like this. Suma Beach is roughly 1.5 kilometers of sand bring lots of sunscreen 50 plus this is the only excitement you'll see there's a young lady sailboarding it looks easy but I'm sure it's not she's sailboarding in a designated area that's because there's a sailboarding school right near the beach no swimming uh, sir I think you need some wind police Ooh, these young people they just want to be seen walking this way a little west I see 20 year olds and up people are just posing I can't believe how barren it really is none of this to my right is a washroom and look at this there's a garbage station these two boxes the right box says moeru gomi, that is for combustibles, and the other one is for cans and bottles. Sorry people, this video might be lame for you. There's no excitement. It's pretty much dead over here. Look at this. Two young girls posing. There's no one to look at them. <laughs> oh, they're probably posing for selfies. Instagram. Well guys, I'm going to turn around because there's nothing happening at this end. 
I'm not trying to deter you guys from coming down, but if you guys don't mind quiet beaches and the humidity, then come down. But if you want excitement, here is not the place to find it. Heading back to Suma Station. All in all, Suma Beach is clean, but it lacks excitement. Maybe things will get better by next year. If you plan to swim where there are no guards, watch out for jellyfish. Jellyfish tend to come out around Obon, Bon Yasumi, around the second week of August. If you really want to visit Suma Beach, bring a lot of sunscreen. Keep your belongings next to you. If you're feeling hungry, go back into the station or on the other side of Suma Station. There are many shops and restaurants that can cater to your needs. Look, a police van. No, they're not looking for me. <laughs> I am going to wrap up this disappointing video. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.